My name is Kajsa Sigfridsson Klaus and I'm a beamline scientist at the Baldo Beamline here at MAX4. I started in MAX4 in August 2012 as a postdoc at the I811 beamline, which is the EXAPS beamline at the old laboratory. So, as I said, I'm a beamline uh, scientist at Baldo Beamline, and that is the beamline for X ray absorption spectroscopy at the new laboratory. At the moment, it means building the physical beamline, and the work tasks are diverse, ranging from keeping track of uh, elements to be installed, plan and uh, design the experimental station and the equipment to be there, advertise, promote the beamline at meetings, and update the Beamline homepage to attract potential users and also planning ahead for these users to come here and um, start collaborations and also to do research. Um, so when this installation phase is over the commissioning of the Beamlines will start and then we test everything and we make the facility user-friendly and after that we go into operation that means that the scientists will come here to perform experiments and the work tasks will shift again. Two days are never the same, but a typical day in this phase could be yeah, you start the day with sorting out emails with a cup of coffee, then you plan and prepare and participate in meetings with the Balder team, could be regarding the experimental station. And then you talk to people here at MAX4 uh, to solve tasks. It could be the constructors, mechanical workshop, um, the vacuum group, the SAM team, kits. And another day here I could do research. Could be sitting analyzing EXAFS data, write paper and have meetings with collaborators. Um, but when we move into operation, <coughs> Uh, so the, when the scientists come here, I know from a previous experience at Area 11 that a typical day could be to prepare the beamline for the new users, and welcome and introduce them to the beamline and then be of service, so on call the, for the rest of their beam time to solve upcoming issues. I'm driven by the scientific questions to design and perform experiments to provide the answers. In my own research field, metalloproteins, I really want to understand how nature used the chemistry of the metal in the protein environment to perform these vital functions for, for the cell. And here at MEX4, I have this modest wish that I want to make the ultimate exo line for the scientists with respect to the user experience experiences here and also the experimental possibilities. For me, MAX4 provides a fantastic opportunity to work as an EXAF spectroscopist and to develop in this international dynamic environment. And it all started during my postdoc in the bio EXAFS group of Michel Hohmann and Holger Dau at the Freie Universität Berlin. With them I travelled to most of the European synchrotons and I was so impressed by this shared light source, the synchrotron, that united all these scientists from diverse fields, that I wanted to be part of such an instrument. So even if I'm scientifically driven and was initially planning for a um, career in research, I really wanted to be part of this. So I followed the development of MAX4 with a great interest during my education and then I also found this technique of X-ray absorption spectroscopy to be a very useful technique to understand catalytic centers of enzymes. And uh, in addition, I have my roots here in Skåne, this lovely part of Sweden. And it is amazing to find the dream job, fitting my highly specialized profile so close to home. Max4 as an employer provides a open and welcoming atmosphere. It is a good blend of skilled international and Swedish co-workers. I like the idea that we all work to a common goal, a shared vision to make the invisible visible at this large laboratory to 
to provide the most brilliant x-rays for scientists.